Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing the books that I want to read in 2020. So for this video I've split it up into three different categories. So the three different categories are books that I want to reread because I because the next book in the series is coming out so I just want to refresh my memory by rereading the book. The second category is books that I have read um, the entire series or whatever it is and I want to annotate them. So I finished it, I know everything that happens, but I do want to go back and annotate them. And then the third category is books that I haven't started annotating, um, but I have read multiple books in the series, but I haven't continued with the series or I haven't gotten to the last final books. Um, and I want to reread the books to refresh my memory as well as begin to annotate them. So the first book that I have in the I just want to reread the anticipation of the next book in the series is Aurora, I was going to say Aurora Burning, is Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jake Kristoff. Um, I read this, actually I think when I first started annotating, um, and I did like it. Um, I think I gave it four stars, four out of five stars, um, and I really did like it. Um, and I'm really excited to continue with the series. I mean, the next book is Aurora Burning look at that cover it's gorgeous and it has my favorite character on it so there's that um but yeah i'm really excited to continue with the series um so yeah i want to reread this before aurora burning comes out in may i believe that is the only book in the category of me wanting to reread a book in anticipation of a new release or of the next book in a series um, so moving on to category two books I'm rereading and I've read all of the books in the series, but I'm rereading them to annotate them. So the first book that I have is The Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass. Um, I've read, I started reading this, gosh, I can't remember, sometime in high school. Um, I think maybe in 10th grade? Yeah, I think in 10th grade I started reading this and I fell in love. I really love them and I never annotated them and I know that these would be annotated ridiculously because I love them and there's so many like moments and things and funny lines that I would just love to annotate and tab um as well as I love this book so I really want to revisit it and reread them I love them the next um series that I want to reread is the series one of the series that got me into reading and I love them and I've only ever read them once. And that is the the Mortal Instruments series. So the first book is City of Bones. Um, like I said, I only ever read them once and I read them on my Kindle and I would really love to read them physically and annotate because I do love this series and it was one of the series that got me into reading. Um, so I would like to annotate it, but I'm also curious to see if my thoughts have changed or developed in a different way because I was, I think 12 when I first read these. I honestly don't think my thoughts are going to change that much just because it's a sentimental thing in nostalgia so I feel like even if my thoughts do change I'll still give it a good rating um, but I do love all of her other books and other things continuing the Shadow, the Shadow Hunter Chronicles so I'm just I just want to revisit the first thing that felt that made me fall in love with reading. The next book that I have is Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Yes, it's another Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff book. Um, I read this entire series, um, and it's told in like one of the most amazing formats, media formats. So it's told in pictures, it's told in emails, IMs. Um, video surveillance footage yeah it's just it's told in a really interesting format and i do love these books um but like i said when i read them i didn't annotate them um and i would really like to go back and annotate them because they are one of my beloved favorite series so yeah the next book i don't have the dust jacket for i have no idea where it went i lost it when i was like 13 or something um is Cinder slash the Ludron Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. I'm just gonna hold it like this. Actually, you know what? I'll put the picture of Cinder here. So um, I read these when I was, I think in my booktube newbie tab, I said that I read them in fifth grade, which I did. I read this one in fifth grade. Um, and like I said, I read them when I was a lot younger 
and I'm really interested to see what my thoughts would be but it's also a beloved series of mine like I want to another one of the series that got me into reading so I would just really love to revisit it and I just want to hopefully fall back in love with the world and everything so the next book is A Court of Wings and Ruin slash A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J Maas so um I read these and I loved them and I am I've already started my reread of this series. Um, I'm on A Court of Wings and Ruin and I'm only 50 pages in. I started a couple months ago, but I am really taking my time with it. I reread A Court of uh, Thorns and Roses and A Court of Mist and Fury at the tail end of 2019. Um, and I just want to show you this because it's kind of insane. So I went a little crazy with my tabs. I don't know if it's going to focus on it, but. I went insane with the amount of tabs in, that I have in here. I have over 500 tabs in here. Um, it is one of my favorite books of all time. I love this. This is my baby. So yeah, that's how much I love this series. Um, and I am super excited to continue with the rest of them. I know there's a lot of controversy with them. Um, and there's a lot of people have a lot of issues with the series. But I love them. I love them. So that was the last series in the category of me wanting to reread them purely for annotation purposes. The next batch are the books that I have read part of the series but I want to continue but I also want to go back and reread them because I had read them before I was annotating so I want to annotate the first books in the series or the first book in the series um, before I continue with the next ones except for one there is one that i'm a little hesitant about annotating because i'm not sure if i am gonna like that but i'll talk about that when we get there so the first book slash series is the dark artifices by cassandra clare specifically lady midnight and lord of shadows so i read lady midnight when it first came out and i also read lord of shadows when it first came out like as soon as it came out i read them um but when it came to queen of air and darkness i had kind of forgotten everything that happened um and i just haven't gotten to around to doing it i mean they're behemoth books these are bricks you could kill somebody with this and so it's more of like i'm intimidated because it's a huge book but i do really want to reread lady midnight then lord of shadows and then continue on with queen of air and darkness um i am super excited to do that because i really do love it i think i love this series more than I like the Myrtle Instruments, but again, I haven't reread that in a long time. My thoughts could change. But yeah, I would like to reread Lady Midnight and Lord of Shadows. So this is the book that I'm hesitate hesitant to put on this list of wanting to annotate um, as well as reread. I know I want to reread them because I have all of the books in the series and I like close to Lady Midnight, I read the first two books when they first came out, but then the third book came out, I didn't read it, the fourth book came out, I bought it again, but I didn't, hadn't, haven't read it yet, but I do want to go back and reread the first two books before um, I continue on with the series, because to be honest, like I said, I don't remember what happened. Um, so let's not keep you in any more suspense. That series is the Red Queen series by Victoria Aveyard. Um, so... <laughs> This series, I know, is interesting in the booktube community because it's like, it's a really popular book, but it's like nobody on booktube has read it, so it's very strange. Um, but I read it, I honestly can't even remember what grade I was in when I read them. But I read this one, and I read um, Glass Sword, I think is the second one. Um, and I liked the end of Glass Sword, I ended up crying. I, I mean, I cried. Um, but I just never continued on with the series. I don't really think there's a reason why I just I just didn't but I do have all of the books and I want to reread them but here's here's why I'm hesitant to annotate. I did like them when I read first read them but I feel like I'm not going to enjoy them nearly as much as I did when I first read them. Um, and I'm worried that if I don't like them and I want to get rid of them or donate them somewhere else I'm not gonna be able to because I write in them so I think what I'm gonna do for this series is that I'm going to annotate purely with sticky notes as well as tabs so I'll if I have a passage that I like I'll put like a sticky note um, and then I'll tab it with my with my tab so I know what color 
I'm referring to and I'll write something so I know what I'm referring to but until I know for sure that I'm going to keep this and I know that I'm going to love the series I really don't want to annotate them to the extent that I annotate other books which is I underline in the books I write in the pages of the books um so yeah that's the one that I'm a little hesitant about and the last book in this entire video in this entire list is one that please don't get mad at me in the comments for so it's six of crows by Leigh Bardugo so I just want to say a disclaimer I did read this book and I did start Crooked Kingdom so I read this book and I really liked it um, I actually got my dad to read both of the series actually funny thing is he read them before I did um, but I read the this one um, and I loved it like Nina is amazing she's my favorite character I just I love her she's amazing I mean I love all the characters but Nina is definitely my favorite but I read these this one and I started Crooked Kingdom and for some reason I got halfway through Crooked Kingdom and just couldn't continue I got so bored and I don't think that's an, uh, an accurate assessment of my thoughts on the book I just think that the stuff that was happening around that time I was just I had so many things to do I was so stressed that I just did not want to sit down and read and my bookmark is still in the place that I stopped um and I do obviously it wouldn't be on this list if I didn't but I do want to continue with the series I do want to finish Cook Kingdom but I think that time so much time has passed I mean it's been months since I've read Six of Crows that I think I would fully enjoy to its fullest capacity if I reread Six of Crows be able to annotate it because I know I'm going to love it obviously I've already read it um and I know there's a lot of moments that I can annotate and then continue on with Cookie Kingdom and annotate that one as well and finish it because like I said I the book itself was really good like it was action-packed I was engaged just for some reason I could not get into it so yeah which kind of made me sad I just ended up putting it on hold I was like I am not in the right mindset to read this right now um, but I think I am in the right mindset now um, and I am excited to reread Six of Crows and then continue on and read Cook and Kingdom especially before the Netflix show comes out Shadow and Bone I'm so excited for that um <laughs> funny thing I got my cousin to read this book and he is absolutely loving it so shout out to Nick hi Nick if you're watching um, so yeah I just I really want to watch the tv show um but I also want to be refreshed in the world before the TV show starts. Okay, so those are all the books that I want to reread in 2020. Um, let me know down below in the comments if you've read these, did you like them? Please no spoilers in the comments below to any of these books. Just be trying to be courteous to other people who maybe have not read these. But let me know what you thought of them um, down in the comments. Please like and uh, subscribe if you like this video. Bye.